Hi, it's me again. Okay, now that you know how to use the radio, we're going to um, show you some important tips on taking calls uh, because there's nothing more embarrassing than um, being given a call and you're responding code three and you don't know where the heck you're going or you show up at the wrong place. It's also very embarrassing when uh, you arrive there and you have no victim, he's at the other end of town and he dies. Not a good thing. So always remember, know your locations. So right now we're in the lab. We're gonna go ahead and go to the north side. Um, we're gonna go to, follow me. Right here at this corner here, uh, going east and west is Justice Drive. Going north and south is called Main Street. And if you look over there, at the west end, at the west end of Justice Drive, the, the street that intersects is called Range Road. So if you get a, uh, let's say you get a call of a man down or a traffic accident, and the report is um, it's on Justice east of Range, then you're going to know you've got to hit Justice and then you're gonna go in a westbound direction, and east of that, which would be on this side, would be your access scene or your man down. Okay, so here, you could say, uh, again, you got a report of, of an unknown medical aid uh, corner of Justice and Maine. Well, pretty much that's where your victim is gonna be. Uh, so right now, the buildings here, they're on the north side, are the 500 building. Here where the uh, lab and the uh, EMT, Mr. Liebador's class are, um, are the 600 building. And then over here, east, going east is the 700 building. And then back going north will be the 800 buildings. So if you're told to go to uh, room 702, you're gonna know that you, you've got to go to the building that's east of the lab. Okay, now we're going to walk north, northbound from the lab. Um, we're going to go into Scenario Village. So, come on, follow me. building is where they have the weapons training for the law enforcement officers. So sometimes you will hear shots being fired. But again, that's the 500 building. Over there, a lot of times we'll have scenarios out there and um, we, we, we may put it out as the field west of scenario circle. And that's probably where it's going to be or that or the campground. We'll, t we'll tell you that the uh, scene is at uh, the campground. So you'll know that's where it is. So here is Scenario Village. All these buildings are 800 numbers. Uh, we're starting right here with the visitor center. That's 801. And the next will be 802. And then it kind of goes around until you get up to here. And this one here is up 811. They're also um, given the letter. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. So sometimes they'll either tell you um, the scene is in room 811 or the scene is in room K. And that's what, um, that's what they're referring to. And they go basically in alphabetical order. There's J or 810. Now here is the house, it's a two-story building. So a lot of times they will have at least two, if maybe not three or four scenarios going on at the same time. Getting back so, to the buildings, especially this one, this will be the one that gives you the most um, trouble because it is, like I said, multiple scenarios can be going on. Um, a lot of times we'll try and describe it. It's gonna be um, in building G, upstairs west bedroom or building g uh, downstairs living room so uh, you just need to listen to where it is especially if it's in building g because that's the one that's probably the most um, confusing the rest of them are all one story and usually there's only one scenario going on at a time there okay 
So now, let's go look at the campground. Like I said, this, this is, um, we'll have scenarios out here a lot of times. Um, we'll call it the, uh, the parking lot or the gravel or the field area, east of Scenario Village, or we'll call it the campground. Might have a man down, you might have a fight, might have a fire, who knows? But they'll tell you um, the campground area at the picnic tables. Okay, so here's more campground area. And this will probably most likely be uh, the picnic table next to the trailer. got the medical aid and there was a man down at the corner of range and justice well, here he or she would be now if you got the medical aid at uh, range drive north of justice they may be turning around and there's where your patient would be so south of justice north of justice corner of range and justice. Okay. And so now we're traveling eastbound on justice. And you can maybe get like a report of a stabbing victim who's running and the, the stabbing victim, their dispatcher, you can give it to you as um, victim is running eastbound justice approaching Maine or eastbound justice just west of Maine. So you know that your, your victim would be somewhere around in here on, the, on this street and near Main Street, which is the cross street there. So chances are your victim would be right here going, ah, I've been stabbed. <laughs> okay, Academy Award winner, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so this of course is the lawn area uh, on the west side of the 600 building or the lawn area on the west side of 605. But you know this is building 600 here, and you know that's west over there. So here's your lawn area. These are the bleachers. Bleachers outside 605. Okay, and this is the mat room, which is also building 400. So here's where CPR is done. Here's where a lot of the uh, training for the law enforcement is done. Um, and a lot of the EMT stuff is also done in here. Mat room. Why? Because there's a lot of mats on the floor. Okay, so this is the 400 building. That right there where the lunchroom is, that's the 300 building. So any rooms that are on there are number 300 and something. And then that building over there, to the east of the 300 building is the 200 building. And then over here, right in front of us, is the 100 building, and that's the administrative uh, offices. That's where you're going to find secretaries and all the heads of all the departments. And that's it. Oh, and this is the courtyard. So you might get a call in the courtyard area outside the 300 building, or over here. Over here would be the courtyard area outside the 600 building, which would be over there. Um, so know your locations because it's really important that you know where your victim is.